Hi guys, VST, welcome to the channel guys. S22 Ultra, I promise you a lot of videos. This here is the S22 Ultra straight out of the box with the very first firmware version, which is the AVA7, okay? It has the January 1st security patch. And this here on the right part of the screen is also the S22 Ultra, which is running on the latest AVB F firmware just released, right? 800 megabytes. A lot of fancy things guys, um, yeah, what I'm gonna do in this video, probably the title already suggests it, benchmarks. And um, yeah, I wanna see how well Samsung did it with this first day update, so to speak, because the phone has just been released right now. Again, the very same setup guys, this is the bare bone setup. What do I mean by bare bone? I almost have nothing here. I don't have a SIM card guys. I don't have much applications. I don't even have my Samsung account. I do only have the Google account and of course my benchmark. Also, there are no navigation gestures, just buttons. And of course the idea guys is to get the best out of those phones just for the sake of the benchmark. So without any further ado, I'm closing everything and I'm starting Geekbench. So again, here guys, you will experience the phone out of the box on the left side. On the right side, you'll experience everything now up and running on the latest update with the March security patches and hopefully with all other fixes. So let's start in three. Two, one. Results are here, 1,184 on the single core score and the whooping 3,592 on the multi-core score. Here you can just see, this is indeed the Samsung S22 Ultra. All right, you can just see all the cores, the configuration, you can just see the memory information, etc. We had there 1,184 on the single core score and a bit high also on the multi-core score. Here we have 3585. And also the multi-score is a bit low here, 3,585. Let's continue now with 3 Mark using Wildlife. All right, I can already see uh, we have a very nice result here, 7,886, okay? This is the wildlife standard test, the average frame rate of 43. All right, um, you can just see that my score is better than 93% of the results from all other devices. By the way, you know, battery drop only 1%. The temperature was only 30 degrees, guys. It seems that, you know, this is like not a problem at all for this phone. Frame rate quite stable. Here you can just see the battery rate and the frame rate. You can also hear the temperature and the frame rate. What I'm gonna do right now, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm going to execute the White Life Extreme, which is a bit more demanding and it runs in 4K and etc. So this is really a more demanding test. So let's just see how well here the S22 Ultra is going to deal. On the left hand side, guys, again, we have the very first firmware out of the box, which was the phone was released with the January security patch. And here on the right of your screen, you see the same phone, but updated to the very latest AVBF security patch from March, all the bugs fixes, hopefully, hopefully we are gonna get a bit more juice out of this fall. One thousand ninety forty four average frame rate eleven dot sixty, which I think was about the same result as we got before, and also down below only one percent battery degradation, temperature only one Celsius, which is actually not that bad at all. Now it's time to also check Android two. So without any further ado, you can just see it here as twenty two Ultra five G Exynos two thousand two hundred. Let's start. Eight hundred fifty-one k is the result that we get. 
when you scroll down you can just see that the temperature increased from 31.5 to 38 which is actually quite nice only 6.9 celsius increase which i think is a good indicator and five percent was the price we paid in terms of battery now let's do a wrap up between the out of the box software and the day one update with march security patches pay attention to the day one patch and the result we get a bit lower score right but it's not not so lower compared to what we get on the left side which is of course the software out of the box but pay attention to the temperature raise we got an increase here only with 3.5 celsius right as to on the left hand side you can see we get almost 7 celsius increase which only hints one thing right so this and also all the other results like the Geekbench result from the day one patch was a bit lower also the 3d mark life and extreme test was a bit lower this only hints that samsung are still doing some fine tunings and they're really trying to fine tune make everything run a bit smoother and also sacrifice this peak performance for sustained performance but i'll know for sure tomorrow when i'm planning to do a full-blown throttle test only with the s22 ultra with the day one update again no sim card no apps no samsung account just to really run a bare bone phone so right now i'm just thinking samsung are sacrificing peak performance to get better sustained performance which is i think a not bad deal to be made and we're gonna know more tomorrow i really hope that what you like on the screen you see and if that's the case yes like the video subscribe to the channel guys please you and your families stay safe keep coming for more vst bye